So you want to know the difference between a function and a relation. I went ahead and wrote out a couple of tables here because it took me a couple of minutes to get the information jotted down and I didn't want to use up our time. A function is a type of relation, but just because something is a relation does not necessarily mean it's a function. A function is sort of a special class of relations, uh, kind of the way that a square is a special type of rectangle. If we look at this relation over here on the right, if we look at this side first over here, what I've done here is relate a bunch of students to their GPAs. And we'll just assume that the letter represents their last name. So we have a student whose last name starts with A, and their GPA is 2.73. And another student whose last name starts with B, and that GPA is 3.21. Another one, C, and another student whose name starts with A, and their GPA is 2.84 and then another student whose GPA starts with B and theirs is 3.43. So we can see that there's a couple of duplicates over here and a couple of duplicates over here, but we have associations between each student and their GPA. This is a relation. We're relating the name of a student to a GPA. We're, we're taking information about someone's name and we're putting down information about the GPA for that student. So we're relating these two bits of information. Now. In the case of a function, the special thing about the case of a function, although it is still a relation, we're still relating names and GPAs here, there's something a little different. On this side over here, we don't know. If I tell you um, I'm looking for a student whose last name is A and I want to know their GPA, you don't know whether I'm talking about this student or this student. If I said I want to know the GPA of a student whose last name is B, starts with B, you wouldn't know whether I was talking about this student or this student. Or if these are both the same student and these are both the same student, and one time they have one GPA and another time they have another GPA, we don't know that either. This is a relation, but we can't really trust it. We can't trust that if we ask for a student whose last name starts with A, ask what their GPA is, that we'll always get the same answer. One time we'll get this answer, and one time we'll get this answer. So a relation is just sort of a comparison of information. Now a function, a function has a single input, A, and a single output. There aren't any other A's. If I ask you what's the GPA for a student whose last name starts with A, you tell me 2.73 every time. I can trust that if I say what's the GPA for the student whose last name starts with A, it will always be 2.73. If I say what's the GPA for the student whose last name starts with D, it will always be 3.43. So one way to think of functions versus relations is that functions can be trusted. You can trust whatever you put in for the input of the function, in this case the student name. Whenever I put in a specific student name, I will always get the same GPA. I can trust that I will always get the same answer. If it's not a function, if it's just a relation, I can't trust it. I don't know whether if I put in student whose last name starts with A, whether I'm going to get 2.73 or 2.84. So there's your difference. Your difference is that a function has a given specific output for each input, and there's only that one output. You always know if you put in that input, you will get that output. You won't have anything else that it could be.